Miss Candy here, and today I'm going to show you how I painted this gaming chair. So to paint the chair, it's really easy. You just need whichever chair you're going to use. Um, you would probably want it to be like PVC or leather, and then you would want 100% acetone nail polish remover. You'd also need a uh, leather paint in the colors of your choice, a uh, leather paint sealer, and then um, you might want like a PVC leather conditioner as well. So make sure you do get 100% acetone because if not you'll leave you'll end up with a sticky residue like i did so just make sure you get 100 percent acetone i don't have it to show you because i just don't have any right now so this is a leather paint that i used i used the angelus brand and i got the color lilac to match the color that i wanted and i also got the satin acrylic finisher um, because I didn't want it to be too glossy, so I got the satin one instead. And I got this leather and vinyl conditioner as well. Yeah, but it's super easy and that's all you need. And I hope you have fun customizing your own chairs. To start, take your acetone on a cotton pad or rag and wipe down all the areas that you will be painting. This is an important step to make sure that your paint really sticks and lasts. So take your time doing this. You want to do this until the top layer is fully gone and there's no sticky residue. Now just take your leather paint and cover all the areas that you want. I did a total of three light layers and let each layer dry in between. I did use painter's tape in some areas to help me paint as well. I ended up taking my chair apart so that I could spray paint the base white and also get all the hard to reach areas. Here are all the pieces after I took the chair apart and you can see where I couldn't reach. So I'm just going to finish painting it. When I was finished with the lilac color, I also did two layers of the satin finisher. And I also used a leather and vinyl conditioner on all of the chair when I was done. And here it is all painted. I did spray paint the base white and also put a clear coat on top of it. I did any cleanup that I needed with the rag and acetone as well. I would recommend painting the chair before you put it together if possible so you don't have to do twice the work. I had already built my chair out of excitement when I got it, but I should have waited until I was ready to paint it. If you are using a chair you already own though, make sure to clean it before you start this process.
while, the chair was super fun to make and it turned out great. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and make sure um, you subscribe so that way you could see more content from me in the future as well. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Thank you.